Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out doing some jigging with um, small shads and creature baits, but I'm also going to be throwing crankbaits. At the start of this session I was throwing crankbaits on the canal and then I switched over to slow jigging. Aim of really trying to catch a perch. I'm on a bit of a dry spell from the perch. Honestly, I can't catch them for luck. No, nothing. Um, so that's what I'm going for, but I'm expecting small jack pike, which is fine. I'm, I'm quite happy to catch small pencil pike, cucumber pike on the perch setup. So I've spoke very, very quickly at the start of this video. I hope that confused some of you guys from abroad. Let's crack on with the fishing. Fingers crossed we can get some fish. We'll take a look at the baits on the way and let's crack on with the session. Put on a little shadow wrap. I do like shadow wrap. Right, Sam. It's a little jerk bait, a little shadow wrap. So with this one, you can straight retrieve it if you want. Or you can jerk it and it gives some right big flash in the water. Look at that, and you jerk it. Not very good then because it's got tangled up. <laughs> you get the idea. So I think to get a reaction from a pike. Easy. Some little jet pike that we're after today. No, nah, nothing yet. <laughs> right to my feet. That's awesome. Shame I weren't looking at it when I hooked it though. That would have been awesome to see on camera. Oh, treacherous. Oh, Jack, let's be careful with him. All right, he's a swinger. Absolutely crushed that little shadow wrap. Awesome little bait. Little jerk bait. Absolutely crushed it. Look at that. He's clamping down. Jeez. We have to walk him like a big pike, but he's tiny, so we'll lay him on the ground, tilt his head back. Until he really wanted it. Just twist that hook out. Oh, nice and easy. There we go. Lovely little pike. I'd say he's just turned into a cucumber pike. They go pencil pike, then they go cucumber pike. This is just a cucumber pike. Slip him back. Oh, he absolutely shut off like a rocket. I had some people complain recently about me not resting a little tiny jack pike, but I don't think people get that when you bring a little jack pike in, they just want to get back and just want to get back on the hunt. Drop them straight back as long as you've not had them out too long and they shoot off like an absolute rocket every time. Fish. Hammered it as well on the drop. Low jack pike. Changed over to a little jig. As opposed to the crankbaits I was using. And there we go. They don't always want the same thing, do they? Another small fish. And what a beautiful pack. Probably about two pounds, something like that. Awesome fish. 
crush that bait, look. <laughs> mean looking guy. Cool, let's get him back. Let's get him unlocked. Really, really nice, right in the scissor. There we go. Whoa. He fired off into the distance. <laughs> Not fishes swimming a little while. I always do when the river comes up. It looks really nice. I like it when the river's like this. I know some people don't like low fishing when the river looks like the colour of sand, but I absolutely love it. All the fish just get pushed right into the slacks. Problem with this swim is it's really, really weedy. What a pipe. <laughs> awesome. Little jig. Get in the net. There had to be a, something in this little slack water. I watched it follow it all the way in. He's made by something bigger. Well, Pike always like to play up with me. There we go. Lovely little Jack Pike. Awesome little fish. You can see a bigger fish has had him there maybe. It could have been a cormorant or something. But it looks very much like another sort of pike sort of shape now. Probably a fish not much bigger than himself by the looks of it. Awesome air fishing in the flood water. Just lightly hooked in the corner of the mouth. Slime cow. These little jacks are always ready in there. Let's go. Oh, you're swimming the wrong way. There you go, dude. Right, so seeing as. We just had a little bit of luck on the river. I was dropped in a little worm. Uh, it's called the twerk worm. It's from Subversive Laws, a guy that hand makes baits on Facebook. Um, and I think now it's time to head down the river. Uh, give it a go. It's in a little bit of flood. It's up by a couple of feet, but there is a bit of clarity to it. Fingers crossed we'll be able to find some fish. And it's like was. Let's go. Slack just eating on the edge. Trying to be feet though. So I don't know if there'll be anything in there. Oh, oh that was a pike. Oh no. Oh. Made me out beat. There was only a small fish, but god, he came out so fast. There we go. Oh, we got it again and lost it. It's only a small fish, but that's what we're after. Loving this bait. Hit it twice. Just get a cast out to a slack on the far bank. There's a fish. Oh, it's a nice perch. Oh, yeah, it's a nice perch. Damn it. I left my net back in my last swim as well. Oh, it's not huge. I'll probably swing him just. There we go. Nice, chunky fish. Super, super cold. Probably, it's definitely over a pound. Probably not by a huge amount though, maybe like a pound and a quarter tops. Look at that, crush that bait. Woo, nom 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 nom. Hungry little guy, taking a nice big bait. Sometimes in winter, just want that slightly bigger. 
bait over a smaller bait for some reason. I think obviously a big bait will last them a longer time. There we go, beautiful presentation. Right, let's get him on up to get him back. Got a very quick picture room for Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, links down in the description below. I'm not set up the big camera for this guy because he's um he's no monster. We'll just let him go. There we go, beautiful perch. Awesome. Go on. Oh, it's a pike. Definitely a pike this time. Oh, it's not bad either. Because <laughs> it's the same place where I had that perch. You have to be steady with this because I'm fishing fluoro. It's not the heaviest fluoro either because I'm attempting perch and sort of tiny pike. Oh, calm down, mother trucker. Big head shakes. I've still left me net in my last swim. Hopefully, no one's nicked it. It's not a bad pike. Once again, and that LMAB bleak shad. Nice fish. Oof, nice big head shakes. <laughs> really keeping low. Would it be cool if an even bigger one came and took it? Oh, the shed right in its mouth. There we go, just popped out onto the corner. That's much better. Don't you jump, don't you jump, don't you jump. We're keeping you on. It's gonna go for it, look. Calm down. There's some, there's some pike that just love to jump. <laughs> you can only tell. Right, come on then. So I left me name in last one, should I? There we go. Beautiful fish, there we go. That bleak shed, right on the corner of the pike's mouth. Yeah, absolutely demolished it. Not a bad pike. Probably around about the five pound mark. It's got loads of leeches on him. Scrape them off. I'll flick them off right there. What I'll do is, I'll keep him under the water by his chin, and I'll quickly let the camera out my bag, because it's literally just between hands grasp, and uh, we'll take a better look at him. Yeah? Look at that mouth. Woo. I've done that so many times in my fishing YouTube career. Look at that, beautiful fish. Let's take a look at the bait in his mouth. Awesome. Let's pop that out. Got no trailer hook on there, just a single regular jig head. Holding my right hand and more comfortable with that hand. There we are, beautiful pike. Probably a little bit bigger than I thought, maybe about six pounds, something like that. Awesome pike. That's how we like him, really healthy fish. Not quite as fat as these still water pike. The river pike are normally a little bit leaner, but really healthy shape, ready for spawning in probably one or two months time, depending on how warm it gets. Let's get him back. It's gonna burst off, it's one of those. <laughs> Can feel it tense. What did I say? Getting used to these pike. Yeah. Well, from this particular slack, I've managed a perch over a pound, probably a pound and a quarter to a pound and a half. And that lovely pike, it was about five to six pounds. So I think I'll have one or two more casts just in case, because it might mean there's some bait fish over there if there's two predators over there. Might be more. There we go, another fish. 
Yep, that's definitely a fish. Another perch. Much nicer fish as well. Oh yeah, look at that. On that bleak shad, it's just killing it. I'll come down here because I can land it better here. Because I've left my net. It's going to come off. It's barely, barely hooked. It's right on the skin at the front of its mouth. We got him. That's a two pounder all day. Not brought any scales with me either. Really, really nice fish. There we go, look at that. Beautiful perch. I'm gonna guess that's probably a 213 or a 214. Really good sized fish. On once again, the bleak shad from LMAB. Awesome bit of fishing. That is absolutely incredible. That's that hook out. I mean, I know some people catch twos and threes like they're going out of fashion, but my river really has been dying recently. A slow death, so it's really nice to catch quality sized fish like this once again. Awesome, awesome fish. Let's get him back. Wicked. Look at that absolute beauty. So guys, it's come to the end of the session. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. It's been a really eventful day. It started off a bit odd. It was like zero, maybe plus one degrees. There was ice on the canal. Um, really, really cold. I've been fishing about three or four hours now. Temperature is now plus five or six degrees. So the ice will have melted on the canal. I've hit the river. Managed a great bit of luck. I don't know whether it's luck or skill. Either way, I'm gonna leave a link to those bleak sheds in the description. That was the MVP today and I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to follow the links to my social medias as well. I always up them, update them on a regular basis and I'll catch you guys later.